this is one of those days I say, wow. Thank you very much I, to the organizers. Thank you very much to the panel. I take this opportunity also to thank David, Tracy, Natalie, and Marie from SP Intelligent for inviting me and for giving me such good hospitality and for giving us a wonderful three days here. I want to thank my family and friends who supported me, the many organizations that have worked with me almost a decade to make the case for energy and sustainable development, the staff of UNIDO, the staff of SC for All, the UN system, the World Bank, number of banks and companies that really gave us talent, knowledge, the best information, many governments, and of course, the leadership of South Africa. You know, I used to come here often, and getting ideas and knowing about innovation, and I see many of the awards today, but many governments, especially governments in Africa, heads of states, who would lobby for me and move me along. I remember visiting Professor, um, President Kagame when I was stepping down from UNIDO, and he said, well, now, Yumkela, you know exactly why we need energy. It's for industrialization. It is to raise our people out of poverty. It is for wealth creation. And I see a lot of the talent here. In this room, I know the energy revolution of Africa is powering up and ready, ready to take off. As we live here, as we live here, we should know that the talent is here. The business models, see a lot of finance people here, the technologists, they are in Africa. We just have to be open-minded and be ready to partner. I said the other day, sometimes we are too suspicious of each other. We should embrace energy trade across the borders. That's going to be the future. That's where the big projects will move. Yes, we should not be too suspicious. We should be ready to embrace change. My last comment is, and I said this in the UN my last day there, last year, we must convert commitments to kilowatt hours for real people. Converting commitments to kilowatt hours for real people. I emphasize real people because sometimes the power lines pass over the poor and they're not connected. I want to thank you I know this award is to tell me that I can't take it easy, I even have to work harder, and you bet I'll be a cheerleader for you. Thank you very much.